inspired me to become a robotic trained orthopedic surgeon. Growing up, I was always very mechanically minded. I always was working on small engines, working on cars. And then in my orthopedic practice, I always felt like there was a better way to do surgery, something more accurate, something less invasive, less painful for my patients. And then I embraced that and, and learned as much as I could, fully dove into it and learned everything that I could. The way that I've humanized the robot is from the beginning I explained that I'm in charge of the robot. The robot doesn't do anything without my control. Uh, the robot is an assistant. It's not doing the surgery. I'm the one doing the surgery. I'm the one making the, the decisions for them. So by doing that, it demystifies and takes some of the fear away from the surgery for the patients. Grew up here in St. Louis playing soccer my entire life. Um, played in high school, played in college, and then had a 14 year professional career playing indoor soccer, which is probably even a little tougher because you're basically playing on a hard surface, on turf, a lot of stopping and starting and cutting. I had multiple surgeries, uh, torn cartilage, and you know, had repairs, but then eventually wore down to the point where I was bone on bone, having pain every day. Um, and the defining factor for me was uh, in my backyard with my grandson and he was running through the sprinkler and asked me, uh, you know, hey, Papa, let's run through the sprinkler. And I took two steps and realized that, you know, I can't run through sprinklers anymore at this point. So uh, made the decision and it was the best decision I ever made. When I met Mark, I knew that he was in pain. He had several surgeries, he was miserable. He had a very high level of expectations and I needed to meet that for him. And I felt with this technology in my process, I was able to do that. When I first came in and met Dr. Palmer in our first meeting, that's when he really kind of walked me through the procedure, um, the precision of it, you know, the recovery time, the help, how it helps in recovery. And he talked about the robot assist. I know technology is amazing, but I wasn't sure that I wanted a robot to do my surgery. And then when he explained the process that it's literally assisting him in making it more precise. I mean, just knowing that the technology and with his experience, it, that it, it can be a perfect fit. Intraoperatively, I did everything in my power to make sure his knee was as perfectly balanced as I could make it. Um, and I feel like we achieved that for him. You know, I had to make some decisions and, uh, you know, having a knee replacement was a big decision that I didn't take lightly. And uh, now that I've had it, it's been the best thing I ever did. Right now, I'm pain free. I can do pretty much anything I want. You know, I have a six year old grandson who wants to go back in the backyard and kick the ball that I couldn't do before. If I was talking to someone and they were contemplating having surgery and having a knee replacement, I would highly recommend Dr. Palmer and to just come see him, let him explain the process. And I think once you see what the process is and how it can benefit you, uh, it'll be something you won't regret because it's changed my life.